Team Building Ex Libris Approach In this section, team building approach and activities within Ex Libris project will be presented. Ex Libris Approach tries to build the best possible teams from groups of individuals who come together for a short period of time for co-designing library services. The main aim of these activities is to understand who can cooperate better in the same team. Aims of the team building activities are Providing insight into the individual's characteristics and profile Understanding the value of listening Understanding the value of careful observation Understanding personal differences and its importance in a team Understanding the importance of communication and empathy Several activities can be used for implementation such as Photo wall Building a self model Alignment game Diversity exercises Perception exercise Building a duck Observation skills Left versus right brain test Photo wall The aim of the photo wall activity is to provide a quick get to know each other exercise which helps to discover connections between participants. Resources used for this activity A big wall canvas A Polaroid camera Colorful post-its And colorful pens Facilitator's role is taking photos and explaining the expectations. Duration is 10 to 15 minutes. Participants are invited into the room. Their Polaroid pictures are taken. They are given their photos, post-its and colorful pens. They are asked to write some information in keywords form about themselves on post-its such as who they are and their emotions. Participants are invited to create a corner for themselves on a big size pre-prepared canvas. Each participant mounts his her photo and sticky notes in his her corner. After everybody has a place on photo wall, participants are asked to draw links with other people they already know. Following the completion of all links, participants are invited to talk about themselves and their connections with others on the photo wall. This exercise generally takes longer than planned and expected. Participants need clear instructions. They generally have some difficulties to understand what to write on the post-its and how to express themselves by simple keywords. It is helpful to create examples on the wall before the workshop starts. It is easier for participants to follow the examples. That helps with better time management. Building a self-model Building a self-model with LEGO activity aims to provide more information about each participant. Resources LEGO bricks and pieces Facilitator's role is explaining the expectations. Duration is 10 to 15 minutes. Participants are asked to build a model of themselves with LEGO. When completed, each participant talk about his her model. When they talk about the model, they provide some new information about themselves which is not mentioned before. It is useful to indicate duration when this exercise starts. It might take more time than expected because some participants might not have experience with LEGO. For those who have no previous experience with LEGO, it takes longer to get familiar with pieces and put them together. However, this is a good start to get familiar with LEGO Serious Play. This exercise provides valuable information for team building. Alignment Game The aim of the Alignment Game activity is to understand the value of cooperation, communication and co-creation. Resources are LEGO brick pieces in eight different colors and one big table accessible from all sides. Facilitator's role is explaining the rules and provide reflections about why the mission is not accomplished, why it is important, and how does it affect the teamwork. Duration is 10 to 15 minutes. This activity requires 12 players.
Depending on the number of players, there could be more than one group or one player might have more than one mission. The goal is construct a building with Lego bricks. Each player is given a secret mission to help accomplishing this goal, such as building a certain floor or building it in a certain color or with a certain number of bricks. One player is given the role of observer. All instructions are written on small papers and not known by the other players. Players are not allowed to talk to each other. Play starts. After the first 5-8 minutes, facilitator stops the game and asks observer to reflect on what is happening. Facilitator asks who has accomplished the mission and altogether analyze one or two missions. With this new knowledge that everyone has a unique mission in constructing the building, players are given a second chance to play for another 5 to 10 minutes. This second phase is to see how players communicate without speaking. Facilitator stops the game and reflects. The main message is about constructing a team rather than a building and it is not possible without communication and collaboration. Here are the instructions for players. As can be seen, each player has a unique mission. Alignment game. Tips. If you translate game instructions, make sure that they are translated correctly and clear enough. Make sure that player understand well that they cannot speak with each other. Make sure that they understand that they are not allowed to show their mission to others. Clearly explain what went wrong after the first run. Carefully observe players to get more information about their capabilities and teamwork capacity. Talk about lessons learned after the second run. Diversity exercises. The aim of the diversity exercises is to show the diversity among people, the way they perceive, observe, or do things. Depends on the exercise, resources could be some pictures or videos or Lego bricks and a computer and projector. Facilitator displays the picture or plays the video and question about the perceptions of participants. Duration is maximum 5 minutes. Perception exercise. Illusion pictures, such as rabbit or duck, are presented and participants are asked one by one to define what they see. The participants see different things, different shapes or words. Some are able to see both. Good to mix these people when building a team. Building a duck. Participants are given exactly the same pieces of Lego brick sets. They are asked to create a model of a duck by using all pieces. They are given a short span of time, no more than a couple of minutes. They work individually. All ducks are displayed in the end to observe the differences. Observation skills. Participants are shown the Who Done It video about a murder investigation. While watching the video, 21 things change on the scenery, such as clothes, objects, and people. Participants are asked to watch it carefully. When it is finished, they are asked whether they could spot 21 differences. Generally, one or two people notice one or two changes. Participants are allowed to watch the film again with the knowledge that things change. Second time, they manage to observe more changes but not all. Reflections focus on the lesson learned. It is easy to miss, not notice something you are not looking for. And people might notice different things. Who done it? You can watch Who Done It video and test your observation skills. Left versus right brain test. Participants are shown a video about the differences between left and right brain people. They test themselves and reach a conclusion about themselves. They get a clear idea about how complementary left and right brain people are. Focuses on team building. Are you right-brained or left-brained? You can test yourself by watching this video. Helpful tips. 
Allocate very short time for diversity exercises and do not allow collaboration because participants might influence each other. For observation video, before you show the video, do not mention that things change. In each exercise, focus on diversity. Point out the importance of individual diversity in team building. And build the teams accordingly.